Oops. All right, thanks so much for joining me today. This is Laura with Shot and Tittle Typewriters, and I've got another Olympia. Yay! This is an Olympia 7, a 19, no, Olympia, sorry, SM7. Getting ahead of myself. It's a 1961. And again, these are fantastic writing machines. This one, instead of having the tab keys on the back, has them down here. And these are called key set tabulators. So your tab is right. The tab button is here, but you clear it and you set it here. Okay, oh, one thing that I love about the Olympias is the smooth action of the carriage. I mean, it's it's almost like it's gliding. It is. It feels completely different than anything else I've ever typed on. Granted, there's a lot of typewriters out there I still haven't touched yet, but of the big names, the big ones, um, Olympia, top notch, fantastic. So those of you who are gonna be doing a lot of writing on the typewriter, you should invest in an Olympia. I'm just saying, just skip the rest, invest in an Olympia if you're gonna be on your typing typewriter all the time. Okay, back here, let's start from the back and move our way forward. So on the right side is a little button and you just press that. There you go, that was got a little stuck. That's your, um, obviously your paper holder and it comes up. And just put it back down, let's try that again. So it looks like it sticks just a little bit when you release it. That's okay, not a big deal. This is your tab clear. So all tab clear. Um, this would be like a single tab clear. Margins, you just squeeze and drag. Okay, this is your paper guide. Also, um, well, I'll get there in a second. This on the right side only is your carriage release. You press down and your carriage is going to move as far as you have your margin set. This has a really nice sounding bow. For those of you who are new to typewriters, just a reminder or just a little instruction. The bow tells you you're at the end of the line and that you need to hit the return handle to keep advancing. And then right here on the left side, that's going to tell it that is your line selector which will determine if you advance one, two, or three lines. Now you'll see like there's three dashes, dash, 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 and then at the top of the dashes is a dot. And if you push all the way up to that dot, that releases the roller. Oh, this has a carriage release on this side too. Sorry, some of them only have, <laughs> sorry, been a long day. Um, er, back up, carriage release either side dot on the top releases the roller so you can do fine adjusting. So let's say you're doing a filling out a form or you're using lined paper. This really comes in handy, but be sure you re-engage see, so that you hear it click before you start typing because you're not going to be able to advance properly. Okay. Let's move this to the left and then we're going to pop this top open. Now this whole outer shell pops off. And the best way to do it is to just grab by the bottom here, okay? And then gently just lift up and out at the same time. I'm gonna set it right there. And here you'll see we've installed a universal ribbon. Um, black is on top, red is on bottom. When you do replace it, make sure it's threaded properly through the guide wires or else it won't work right. I've taken an up close photo of this and it's on the product listing, which you find the link in the description below. And even if this is sold, you can access the photos and reference them, which is really handy. Um, when I first got typewriters, I couldn't find any references for stuff I needed uh, for a long time, but you have to learn where to look. Okay, so this is like a swing handle, spring-loaded arm is what it is that kind of holds the the spool in place and what happens is when you get to the end of the spool you need to reverse it because there's a whole lot of ink in that ribbon that ribbon is not a one-off you use it multiple times you go back and forth back and forth 
30, 40, 50, 60 times before you need to replace it because there's a lot of ink in there. And to reverse the direction, you just tap. Doesn't matter which one, you just tap. Okay, and so this is so important. Most people, 90, I, at first I said 80%, but I'm gonna tell you 90% of the people that contact us that have questions about their typewriters not working, it all has to do with them reversing the direction of the ribbon, which is why I'm harping on it so much and I'm gonna keep doing it because I would love to save you some stress. Anyway, so when you get to the end of the spool, your typewriter is probably gonna stick or your keys are gonna stick or your font's gonna get really faint or it just, your typewriter's not gonna work right. Stop right away, always check your ribbon, make sure it's threaded properly and make sure, and then reverse the direction of your ribbon before you go into full on panic mode. Okay, right here is your, um, I lost my words, which happens all the time on these videos. Go figure, I do better on paper. Um, and this determines how hard your strike bars hit the paper. And it's just personal preference. I really don't see much of a difference. Right here is the locking mechanism for your carriage. I'm gonna put this back on and then show you how to lock the carriage. So you just, Hold on, see if I can show you. So this is gonna go, see that notch right there? It's, there's a little nub sticking out on each side and that's gonna fit over that and then it just swings down. So let me get under here. Swing down, snaps in place, voila! Carriage, when you get ready to put it away in your case, or um, you're gonna be transporting it, just center your carriage, hit the lock. You just have to kind of nudge it a little bit to hit, get it clicked in, and now, now even if you try to hit the carriage release, it's not gonna move because it is locked. On this side, on the right side, is your color selector, black on top, red on bottom, white in the middle, just means stencil, it is nothing. If you have it set on there, your typewriter is not gonna type, or it's not gonna type very well. Again, don't panic, just make sure your selector is firmly in the red or the black section. Okay, let's go ahead and do a little bit of typing. Okay, let's go ahead and do a typing demo for this Olympia Deluxe. And so what you wanna do is just make sure your margins are where they want to be. Make sure your carriage is not locked, it's not. And then just set your paper right here and then turn the handle and always pull up this bar. The paper needs to go underneath the bar, not on top. And then I like to bring it up to make sure it's nice and even. And if it's not, then you just pull this handle forward and adjust it, get it exactly where you want it, re-engage that handle, and then let's start, start typing. So this, there's no number one, so you use the lowercase l. This is a 1961 Olympia SM7. Ooh, nice font. It's very nice. I like it. It's thin and clear, very easy to read. Okay. Lost track of where I was going. These are have a really nice bounce back. The lower case is darker than the upper case. There's the bell, so you hit return. Very nice flow. Okay, so now the bell went off, which tells me to hit the return handle. But if I didn't want to hit the return handle and I kept going, it's gonna stop on me eventually. So what you need to do is hit margin release, which there's a button let me move this up. 
right here, MR, it's on the left side. Hit that, and then you can keep going, okay? That's how margin release works. All right, let's do the red. Very nice flow. The keystrokes are so easy and smooth, which is, that's what I look for. You need a rhythm when you're writing. You need to be able to get into a rhythm. I'm going to start dancing here. Um, and that's what I look for, for a machine for active writers. Tonight for Christmas. And, oh, whoops. You don't hit two at once. Okay, now if you need to use the backspace, this is your backspace button. Okay. And why would you need your backspace? Because when you make mistakes, you go back and you type over it. Uh, a note, and I I thank you. I don't Please ask me your questions, even if they seem silly. I grew up learning on typewriters, so I, I have a different mentality. Those of you who never touched a typewriter, you ass some people have assumed that the backspace would also erase the letter. It does not. So backspace just goes back where you can type over, you can X through, you can line through, you can erase with a pencil eraser, or you can use um, white out, whatever you want, but the backspace does not erase. And don't worry about making mistakes when you use a typewriter. That's just part of it. And embrace that part of typewriting. Embrace your mistakes, work through them, incorporate them into your writing. Okay. That was my soapbox for the day. Um, through the house. Not even, it wasn't a soapbox, it was just my advice. I'm not a creature was strange. Not even a mouse. Is there a song for that? I don't know. Beautiful. Beautiful machine. This is waiting for you to write your story. Oh, backspace. You need this. Oh my goodness, what a beautiful machine. Thanks so much for watching. Please check out the uh, product listing in the link below, even if it's sold. Look at the images for your reference. Uh, uh, bookmark this video if you've got one so you know how to use it. Uh, please leave your comments and questions. When I have time, I read them and respond as I have time. Thanks so much, and we appreciate you. Uh, please subscribe to our channel, and you have a blessed day.